baby, let's just dance, dance Let's just dance, baby I just wanna dance, 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 dance. Can you feel it? Can you take it? Can you come and breathe it? All of this electricity Do it right now, right, right, right now Turn the volume up, loud. give me your electricity Welcome back to the bar. This is bitch number one! And bitch number two! Hi. Oh, that was aggressive. <laughs> Hi, it's Christy and <laughs> Kelly, your two favorite bitches. I didn't even realize that we kind of labeled ourselves that. And now everyone. Yeah, like, I was, you know, it was so funny because I was thinking about that the other day and I'm thinking, we really need to change that. We're like not the bitches. No, we're not. The, we're the voices of reason. Yes. We're the voices of the know. audience. I think, I think we should say like amazing woman number one and amazing yes. woman number two <laughs> best mom ever number one yeah best mom ever <laughs> number two yes yeah. all right we'll come up with something new but before we get into all of that I feel like we have so much to catch up on but before we do that let's start off by thanking our patreons so these are all of our subscribers who went over to patreon.com slash back to the bar and subscribed to our Patreon channel where every week they get bonus content. They get our after party. Then at some levels every month, they get never before seen video content, which last month, everyone was really excited about that one. Yeah. The little chicks. (laughs) Everyone loved (laughs) them. They were so cute. (laughs) They were so so cute. So cute. Can you stand how cute they were? I cannot stand them. No. I remember when Ed was filming or yes choreographing that for them yes yes we were just like we loved it and then oh. we got their costumes and they was even they were even cuter they were cuter do you did you catch at the beginning when Paige and Chloe both come out and they're like chicken heading each other in a circle <laughs> <laughs> so damn cute <sighs> oh I love that dance but let's let's thank our Patreons uh we're okay. gonna thank Kaylee, Sarah, Grant, Caroline, Allie, Devin, Sasha, Amelia, Olivia, Amelia, Ashley, Liz, Hannah, Alisa, or Alyssa, sorry, Laura, Brianna, Sydney, Ginger, Maddie, Courtney, Ashley, Karen, Natasha, Catherine, Katie, Michaela, Allison, Madison, Sheila, Caitlin, Leah, Catherine, Alyssa, Caroline, Gabrielle, Morgan, Lily, Danielle, Sophia, Hannah, Andy, Andrea, Miranda, mm, Mashwia, Sandy, Shannon, Bethany, Shannon, Nina, Flory, Paige, Christine, Spooky, Courtney, <laughs> Spooky, Clarice, Belieber, Bethany, Jack, Casey, Michaela, Kimberly, Kaylee, Brett, Alexa, Riley, Marissa, Victoria, Leah, Kathleen, Emily, Ashley, Angelica, Paige, Emma, Bailey, Larry, Beth, Coco, Pink, Ainsley, Sammy, Andrea, Jess, Georgia, Jay, Madison, Savage Apprentice, Allison, Char, Amy, Olivia, Megan, Paige, Claire, Cassidy, Kaylee, Heather, Aiden, Meggers, Regina, Jessica, Monica, Sasha, David, Alexa, Brittany, Maddie, Jen, and Emily, Jane. Thank you guys. My goodness. Every week I think it's going to get smaller and it's like just as big. It's just there as were like big. three or four pages in there. Yeah. And we have yeah. three or four pages. No, we have way more than three or four pages to go. So no, I, I mean just, the name page. Yeah. I'm telling you, we have several pages left to read. I just don't want to read too many because oh. it's too much. Yeah. So every week I try to read like two and a half, three, and I just can't catch up. Yeah. That's because we're very popular, Kelly. Yes. <laughs> Gosh. And we have some I don't know really why. I know. We have some really great um questions over there for today's after party, which I'm excited oh, to good. answer. Yeah, there's good. good ones. Well, we have to say, before we get started with the drinks, I just wanted to say um I'm so so happy that you are safe. I know. Everyone oh, was my God. worried about you. It it was crazy. Yeah. And like I couldn't leave. Like everybody was like, you know, are you evacuating? But if I would have went like my way out of here is on 75. Okay. If I would have went south on 75, I would have been going towards a tornado. And if I went north, I was going right towards the hurricane. So I really had nowhere to evacuate to. So So I just just stayed here down and drink wine. Yeah, (laughs) pretty much. (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) 
<laughs> but there was nothing else to do. I, I was just going to no, say, what the hell else are you doing? I had no phone, no Wi-Fi, no TV, no lights. Like it was so dark. The one night I got up to go to the bathroom and didn't take my flashlight. I thought, oh my God, I think I go to the bathroom a hundred times a day from here. Like I know how to get there. I was like in the corner. <laughs> trying to find it was so dark like there was like it was crazy <laughs> it was like where the hell am I at but really funny it was <laughs> I, I was like I, like I couldn't believe I couldn't make it to the bathroom like I I don't know but, I thought you were gonna tell me you stubbed your toe you know how you do that at night and you're like yes, I know it's yeah. bleeding no <laughs> I just like walked my face into a wall forget the toe <laughs> oh god well uh, yeah, where... it was crazy because like 10 minutes away from me cars were like floating down the road oh I'm so glad you're safe and I kept trying to yeah. text you and nothing was going through well, I I nothing worked Mm-mm. and then like one second it would work and one second it wouldn't you No, know? yeah. like my sister was like oh I saw you on Facebook I'm like no like like I could I could see my old Facebook stuff, but like, mm. I couldn't refresh it and stuff. And then other times I couldn't do anything. I would be sitting like right next to my dad and try to call him mm-hmm. and it wouldn't work. But then I would go to try and call Brooker page <laughs> and it would work. Hmm. Like it, it was weird. So yeah, maybe it was like the tower would pick up a signal, not pick. Yeah. Up a it, I don't know. it was very iffy. But. Listen to me being all technologiable. Yes. The tower was yeah. picking up a signal. Um, yeah. I have to say though, <clears throat> well, first of all, so glad you're alive. <laughs> it's Thank been you. a minute since we have recorded. <laughs> it has we were been. like, we're like, oh God, what if we're behind? And you're like, I think people will understand if I don't have power because I have well, no. Well, I'm like, I'm got. I, I was thinking that this morning. Mm. I was laying in bed. I'm thinking, thank God we had like backups. Yeah, oh, yeah. To like cover this because, and and we had said, well, just in case like of an emergency or something, yeah. we'll have like a backup. Never thinking it would be a hurricane. No, like, my my emergency was like I had a hangover or something. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> not, not that I'm like going through a hurricane. <laughs> I'm that sorry. was my emergency. Bingo bitches got out of control <laughs> last night. I just can't record. <laughs> I know. That's what I was planning on the emergency being, not no. a hurricane. Well, I'm yeah. so glad we have the backups, but now we have to like, we have to put Catch some in our again. savings. Yeah. I have to read something before, before we get started. I've been reading some of our old comments just on Apple or wherever. Yeah. And I have to read two of them because I thought it was so sweet. And I was like, oh, so can I read these? Can I share them? Yeah. Okay. We're so- waiting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I, was, I was, look, I was looking for permission. We're waiting God. to hear. God. Okay. So someone said this week's episode, and it was the one with John is hands down my favorite one. Thank you for bringing this into our lives every Monday and for being so vulnerable and open to discuss not just your experience on dance moms, but how you're dealing with it and revisiting it or after revisiting it years later. This podcast helped me get through long tour travel days. Y'all are amazing and make me feel as if I have two great friends to get cheers with Kelly and I forever. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. I love that. That And I love it makes some of that, like reliving the trauma feel worth it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then the other one I love, I thought this was really a nice one too. Um, This is from, oh, that one was from Angela Palladini. Um, This one is from JM Ghoul. It says, Christy and Kelly have a beautiful bond that sounds so genuine. I didn't expect to like this show as much as I have. (laughs) And I'm happy I gave back to the bar a chance. Gonna continue to listen. I thought that was really that's cute. cute. I didn't (laughs) think I would like it. (laughs) Our reputations proceed us. Yeah, well, we're glad you liked it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And I mean, honestly, I always think of it. I I always just think of how what have they said we have a beautiful bond. I'm like, listen, when you go through the trenches with someone, you're like joined for life. For life. Yeah. And there were times, and we'll definitely talk about this, especially I think when we talk about the episode that we have that big fight in, we were together more than we were with our husbands. Yeah. For sure. Oh, absolutely. And so we had moments where we were like, oh God, like, I just need a minute. Yeah. You know, like you need, I I had a lot of them moments. Hey, (laughs) well, I am excited to do this week's episode because you're narrating. (laughs) Yes. I hate that. I love when I you hate narrate. when it's like about me too. And I'm yeah, like, narrate. And it, but it always seems like they're about me. I mean, I'm like I the idiot. Oh, I don't know. I've got a big one coming up next week. Apparently. I don't remember it at all. I just see I'm having a big fight. I, 
I don't remember any of these. It's terrible. I, I was talking to my kids about that. I'm like, I like, do you remember what happened? Like, you know, and they're like, no. Paige is like, I think we block it out. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think so, mom. I think oh, so. yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, oh my God. What are you drinking? Oh, I'm boring today. Oh, me too. You know, you know I just like have been busy, but I am drinking sweet tea vodka. <gasps> It's a lemon it's a throwback. Yeah, it was like easy. Did you have a hard time finding it? Yeah. Me you know too. What the, that twisted tea I can find easy. Yes. But yes. the sweet tea vodka, that, that's what this is, is the sweet tea vodka. Yeah, we used to drink like Firefly. Time. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find it because I had sweet tea vodka not long ago and I was I had such a hard time. So wait, really funny because I used to drink twisted tea all the time when we would go out and I told you I would lay in bed and I could never figure right. out why I couldn't sleep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm then, like, uh, you don't think it's like the 300 iced teas you drink? Yeah. But then I was like, oh yeah. So right by my house in New Orleans, there's like a corner store, literally like 14 steps away. And so I walk over yeah. and get the guys water that are working on the house and they have giant 24 ounces of, of twisted teas. Twisted teas. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't oh had a God. twisted tea in a decade, but I drink them down there. Does it keep you awake? Yeah. But I usually start drinking them around 10 or 11 AM. Early. So the, yeah. yeah. That's okay. I'm, when you drink them early. Well, and I'm at the house at like 6 a.m. So by the time 11 rolls around, I'm like it's halfway through my day. So you don't stay at the house? No. Oh, God, no. no. Not right now. It's a shithole. It's a total shithole. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe in a couple weeks when my bathrooms are done. But no, I'm staying in like a little place around the corner. Okay. So I'm just drinking wine. Boring. Wine. Well, that's yeah. good. That's my favorite. Yeah. Not no, late, I love but... wine. And yeah, I look I like I'm wearing too. pajamas, but I'm not. You do. Yeah, they're not jeans. I'm wearing this lovely flashback. Well, I tried to find my disco ball shirt and I couldn't. Um, which one? You, you had know? like 10 of them on this episode. But I mean the one that Kathy called me a disco ball in. That was yeah. like vintage. I have it somewhere. I couldn't find it. So this is my modern day disco ball shirt. <laughs> like gold satin or something. I don't know. So anyway, so I think we've taken care of all of our bookkeeping. Yes. And I'm going to yeah. shut up and let you talk. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. So on. We are on season two, episode three, and it's called Brooks Tur- Turning Point. And we are in Nutley, New Jersey at Starbound Competition. Ugh. And we open up in Pyramid. Uh, is this the first time of Pyramid that we don't wear our shoes? Yes, I think I so. I noticed that. Me I was too. Like, oh, gosh. Like, it's I did. Just horrible. Yes. Oh, I could not stand that. Well, even before we get to Pyramid, in the previously on Dance Moms, when Kathy's making fun of my nose, there is, I don't think they showed this in the episode. Abby goes, oh, I've been dying to say that. What a bitch. She says that on there. I've been dying to say that. And I listen, I'm like. They they said that on the thing. Yes. Oh, I missed Yes, that. they showed previously on and they showed Kathy saying, okay, nose or whatever. And Abby kind of laughs and she looks and she goes, oh, I've been wanting to say that. Oh, well, why didn't you chicken yeah. shit? Chicken shit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Throw some balls and say something. <laughs> well, uh, Kelly. I, I, she only does that to the, the little kids. Exactly. She, if, yeah. you, if you pay attention, she's not always as ballsy as she thinks she is when it comes to the moms. Yeah. She, to the she moms, takes it out yeah, on the always kids. to the kids. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we open up in pyramid and we have no shoes on mother. F. Abby says that for a round of applause that we won the overall and we made uh, the candy apples into applesauce. Don't. Yeah. But this is just one competition, you know, God forbid we would have, you know, the glory of winning Right. We have to just qualify it. Did you see Kenzie's top in pyramid? You probably didn't remember. notice, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Oh, it was from yes! in the back of my head. Yeah. Yes. I <laughs> saw that. Kenzie was yeah. wearing Maddie's costume trio top costume. from yeah. uh, the, it was Chloe, Maddie and Peach's first trio eyes in the back of my head. I, I did have see to that. have that somewhere. That was so, I funny. know I have mine. Yeah. Yeah. Also all the girls are standing very consciously with their hands in odd positions. And I guarantee you 
that they had just gotten screamed at to not put their hands in front of their crotch. In front of their crotch. Yeah. Yes. Cause they used to get, mm-hmm. she used to scream at them. Do not put your hand in front of the crotch. I just like to point out that there are pictures of Kate Middleton standing with her hands in front of her crotch. <laughs> so it is clearly acceptable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we go to Nia, she's in an interview and she says that uh, I'm sad because I worked really hard to get to the top and now I'm at the bottom. I know. I love that. <laughs> she's so sweet. Meanwhile, Nia had like one little blip. It wasn't even like a mess. Up. It was like a yeah. blip. Yeah. yeah. Back to the bottom. Oh, wow. But um, Kendall, um, she tells Kendall that she needs to learn to read music <laughs> and to hear music. And she tells Kendall that she's still on probation. She tells Paige she's seen her do her press better, Ugh. but nice job. Great. She's giving her the benefit of the doubt. Oh, now, thank you. She says that though, because she's talking about Paige's press handstand. Yes. And she did that in her solo. Yes. And that's what she's talking about, but they did not show her solo. Yeah. So why is Paige, if she did a good job in her solo, Kenzie wasn't she just was like in the box she didn't really dance so why was Mackenzie above her I don't know because Paige did do good on her solo that week yeah okay yeah but of course they didn't show it nope but then she says Kenzie is not in the group dance this week but she's getting a solo and I have in my little star she's wearing the eyes in the back of my head oh my god I can't believe you have that same note yeah yeah (laughs) And then we have Maddie. And did you hear the dramatic music? Yes. <laughs> yes. I sure did. Yeah. But Abby says that Maddie was the highest scoring member of the competition. Um, and she's probably wondering why she's not at the top. And it's because she wants to stop raising. What is it? I think she wants to keep raising the bar or something like that. Yeah. Raising her murals or whatever. Um, And that she impressed the judges, but now she has to impress Abby. But it's funny that they talked about this because they didn't show Maddie solo. They didn't show it last week. No. And so like as a, as a viewer, you're like, what are they talking about? Exactly. That's why I was saying about Paige's press handstand. Like, cause it wasn't in that stupid dance. Right. So, so then Chloe, it says Chloe had no solo last week, but she was good in the group dance and right. that people recognize her from the video, but she wants them to recognize her for her dancing. I think I've heard her say that a hundred times. Yes. Yes. I think people yeah. recognize Chloe's dancing. I'm just saying, but whatever. Yeah. That's a way to keep yeah. her like small. So, yeah. But you forgot when you said uh, Melissa thinks she, Maddie should have been at the top, but she's wearing her pink Pepto-Bismol shirt. I know. I saw that. We keep getting that back. But then we go to mm-hmm. you on the interview and you say you're celebrating that Chloe is above Maddie and that we should have ice cream for everyone. Ice cream for everyone. Yum. Yummy, yummy. And she says that Brooke proved herself. I'm in an interview saying that Brooke likes to be on the top. <laughs> they all do. <laughs> sure do. So Abby tells Brooke that she's the oldest and that she should be the role model, (laughs) which Brooke's never given the chance to be the role model. Exactly. You know, like you don't give anybody else a chance to be the role model. No. And Brooke doesn't know if she was. What exactly is the role model? Yeah. 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 Her interview is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Abby wants me to be the role model, but I don't know that I want to be the role model. (laughs) I don't either, Brooke. I don't either. Just wants to go play with friends. You don't want to be a role model. <laughs> exactly. Kenzie has a solo this week and it's called My Parade. And Maddie's solo is jazz. Mm-hmm. And it's called Lights, Camera, Action. And Chloe's solo is lyrical and it's called Don't Catch Me. Maddie and Chloe are going. He- she made such a big deal like about them going head to head this week. It's stupid. I Aren't they head to head almost every week? Yeah. I, like, I, I don't I, know. I, yeah, I, I don't know get why. Because you even say that in your interview about how they're head to head. I'm like, yeah, I don't know why she said that. They are always head to head, but I think she yeah. had to make it dramatic. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't so know. then you're in an interview and you say that Chloe can beat Maddie. Mm-hmm. How about your purple necklace you have? I on? cannot I have even. The same one. I have the no, same one. We shared them. Remember that uh, jewelry that they, lady no, sent them? I thought, I thought she gave us both one. No. She sent them that we could share them. So we had to give them oh. back and forth. And then we had to send them back. 
Oh, God. We didn't even get to keep what them. What were we thinking? Yeah. I don't know. Plus, it looked like I look like I stole it from a museum, like the rock room. Yeah. What were we thinking? When I, I don't we know. All that crazy jewelry. It was it was not cute. No. Not cute. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. So Abby tells us that our group dance is called Born to Dance, and oh. it is about a child being born. And yes. <laughs> and you you are concerned because um, they're little girls and you bring up and she's bringing up the birds and the bees that should be done in health class, not dance class. <laughs> I agree. Although they I learned agree. a lot of shit in dance. Actually, they learned uh, a lot of shit in the back of the bus. Let's be honest. Brooke. Oh, be quiet. Brooke taught them all a thing or two. Well, on the back thank of the bus. goodness. Yeah. Really. Thank goodness. Somebody <laughs> taught them something. Well, <laughs> do you remember when this dance, when we were first doing the dance, and I don't even know if it comes up later. I don't think it does. But originally, Abby wanted us to make umbilical cords out of fabric and wrap them around their costumes. Do you yeah. remember Ugh. that? That's disgusting. Like, yes. I, like, I don't understand the purpose of that. I think like, God gosh. we didn't do that. But there was a point where she had all that purple and red fabric and she was twisting it. She's like, I want you to fashion umbilical cords. And we were like, Whoa. no <laughs> disgusting <laughs> meanwhile this is one of my absolute favorite dances <coughs> i know i'm so I glad we dance too. did not have umbilical cords yes because even the costumes were pretty beautiful were, those were store-bought costumes yeah, yeah. And they, they still were pretty they the girls looked gorgeous in this dance yeah. everything about this dance was i love it i love this yeah dance. yeah but Abby tells us that Brooke is featured and she should be the glue holding it together and that it's been Maddie. But, and she but tells- Abby assigns that. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. like, whatever. Um, she tells Brooke, don't let me down. And she's like pointing the finger at her. Don't mm-hmm. let me down. Mm-hmm. And Brooke's you know, just like, Ugh. Okay. Abby, you can tell in this entire pyramid scene, Abby is in a foul mood. She is worse than regular. Some, some pyramids you can tell she's like chipper and she's just doing whatever you can tell something went on before we started filming. And she is just awful. You can tell that Brooke was at the top of the pyramid and she was not happy. And she was arguing with, I'm I'm sure, I'm sure she fought with them an hour beforehand about that. Not, she did not want that happening. Oh yeah. She was in such a foul mood or maybe even because not just was Brooke at the top, but Chloe was above Maddie too. So yeah. two people yeah. were above her. Yeah. yeah. She's in a foul yeah. mood. So we're at rehearsal and it's five days to competition. And Abby says that this dance is kind of provocative, beautiful, and wondrous. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled out her thing for us. Yeah. And Brooke yawns. <laughs> is Abby saying I that? I talked to um, Brooke's like, oh yeah, this is so boring. <laughs> yeah. My friends are all at high, uh, a party and I'm here listening to Abby, but Abby wants the costumes to look like they are just being born. The umbilical cord. She wanted the umbilical cord. Yes. So we go upstairs and we're sitting up there and you are screaming. Oh my God. Brooke is in fetal position. (laughs) You're like, bring back electricity. (laughs) And then how about Melissa? She's like, Oh, she's coming out of the vagina. And she goes like this. (laughs) Yeah, she's coming out of the vagina. <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, do we have to use that word? <laughs> but I liked how she was like peeking out, and Brooke uh-huh. looked like she was peeking out. I, I know. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, At least Abby so- didn't make us do a cameo in the back. Like, okay, you guys all pretend that you are giving birth and labor and delivery. Wait, We're gonna yeah. have all the moms in stirrups. <laughs> <laughs> So you'd say that you don't want the girls to be exposed to this stuff too early and that you like them being young and naive. I don't know. I think they kind of yeah, knew no, the I know situation. I, I was kind of like, why would I have said this? I was a little confused because I, I can tell you, like with my kids, I never really ever made childbirth or even sex taboo. Like if they ask questions, yeah. I just answer it. I never was yeah. like, oh, we're not discussing that. So I don't know why I would have said yes, all I this. told you to say that. yeah I I would assume that because I was like this it was kind of like it didn't fit with what how I am with my kids so yeah. I was like I don't I don't know why but whatever 
My shirt was ugly. <laughs> They, they, a lot of them are. They're always ugly. <laughs> just, just saying. My yeah. clothes were ugly in this episode too. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I had a hard time finding something to even put on this morning because I was Ugh. like, oh, I didn't put that on. Yeah. And this was the best. So that, that's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so you ask Melissa if she oh. is upset that Maddie is not on the top of the pyramid since she did such a good job last week. I'm and, such a shit stir. Yeah. Well, Always. Melissa says that, you know, Maddie had the highest score of the day and, but Brooke did great. And I, I say to Melissa, Brooke and oh, Maddie were one right point apart. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, like one point. Yeah. I don't know. And she, but, she knows. She's like, I know, I know. Yeah. But Good for you for pointing that out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that, that she was says, for Brooke was, solo because Brooke yeah. didn't do, they didn't show that either. Like, yeah. it's so stupid no, didn't that they? we. T- Wasn't. She did her solo. That was uh, the the Eve dance. Oh, the apple. Yeah, yeah. they did show that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They did show that. I like that Melissa said she's perturbed, but she also wants another kid to have a chance. But the yeah, pyramid isn't sure. fair and it sucks. So, hi. Hi. Welcome to our struggle. Yeah. I like when you say you're in your interview, you say, Maddie's usually the best. And right now, Brooke's the best. <laughs> I don't know that I would say that. Who cares? <laughs> Take it. There's one at a little... <laughs> producers want to little switch me up in the yeah in the but i like that she's like pyramid sucks well funny because she never thought pyramids sucked any other week mm-hmm. yeah yeah she always likes it but mm-hmm. how about brooke she's like i appreciate abby putting me at the top of the pyramid but abby's being very hard on me brooke thinks she should try doing other things like cheerleading <laughs> <laughs> so then they show us at a franklin regional football game why does it not say franklin regional it does not say Franklin Regional, or is it later? It, it, it says, says it says um, it's at New Lindsburg, which is um, the junior high. Okay, I have something it, later on when Brooke is trying out for cheerleading. It says New Lindsburg cheerleading tryouts. It does not yeah. say Franklin Regional because it, well, it's New Lindsburg is a school and Franklin Regional, right? But she was trying out for the high school Franklin Regional team. So why wouldn't they have said that? She really wasn't trying out for cheerleading. I know, Kelly, but I'm just saying somebody (laughs) got that wrong. Maybe New Lindsburg was the only one that would let them film there. I I don't don't know that. They show us at the football game and they show the cheer coach asking Brooke if she wants to try out. I wondered who that girl was because she had like a Robert Morris headband on and she looked. Oh, she is actually the cheer coach. Drink because that's a headband. I have a question, though. That's not for Abby's headband, though. Well, right. But I, I will think drink. It, how was it filming there? Because at this point, the show had aired. Were people flipping out that you guys were there filming? Yeah. And but yeah. a lot of the people that like the cheerleaders and things, they were mm-hmm. like Brooks friends. Yeah. No, I know. You know, I mean, it wasn't like really like. But I meant like the people in the stands and stuff. I would think people I, would be like, oh, my God. I, I guess. I don't know. Nobody really ever said anything to us. We hmm. never really talked about it. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I just kind of I never really like to. No, but still, when Build you show up with a stuff. camera crew, it yeah. tends to be, you know. Draw attention, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the cheer coach is asking Brooke to try out. And um, Brooke says in her interview that dancing's hard because you have to do it. You have to go to practice every day. And her friends are cheerleaders, and they still get to go out and do parties and stuff. So mm-hmm. Brooke is thinking that maybe this is a good idea. She should do the cheerleading. That way she can do more friend stuff. Yeah. Friend stuff and still have an activity, but it's hysterical that they put her in a coat. They put her, they hand her pom-poms and she's on the field. Like what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it's, they just shove her in there. I love that Brooke is wearing one of the old school, like uniforms that our kids always wore the skin tight Abercrombie jeans and the big old Ugg boots. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We always wore those. Always, always, always. Remember we had the pink ones. Oh my God. Your names down the side. That was like a big ordeal when we went and did that. Remember? Uh, Remember we stoned them in the Chicago airport. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. They were cute though. I still have those. I saved those. I thought they did were you? Mm-hmm. I don't think I still have mine. And I had Clara had a pair too. So I have both of my girls down in the basement. Cute. So then they show us in at my house and we're in Brooke's bedroom. And Brooke is saying that cheer like cheerleading tryouts are this week. 
And she tells me that they're the same day as the competition. And I am like, <laughs> uh, you're at the top of the pyramid this week. And that kind of puts me in a bad spot because I'm I like, I'm say. Gonna have to tell Abby that you're, let alone you're trying out for cheerleading, but it's the same day as a competition <laughs> that you're the leader of the group. And oh. um, then I go to my interview and say that I don't want her to resent me for not letting her try out for cheerleading. And sure. I don't want her to regret that. And, you know, I stand by that. Um, yeah. And you'll see in future episodes that like we do, Brooke ends up doing things because like she had school dances and stuff that she wanted to go to. And I was not letting her miss those things because mm-hmm. when I look back at my school days like those are the things I remembered like yeah those, those are, are the, the fun things dance and, and things like that and I really didn't want them to regret doing the show or have bad feelings towards me because I didn't let them do those kinds of things so a lot of times on the show that is why I'm fighting with Abby yeah is because I wanted yeah. them to be able to do both normal kids things and you guys didn't really have to do that as often because your kids were young younger yeah I mean they're in third grade there's not yeah. really any like life remembering things like yeah. going to a homecoming dance is, is something you know you should yeah, do that's a big deal well yeah. even even I know we talked about this I think more on the patreon um when we filmed the opening show opener and Chloe had that sleep away at the like yeah. the camp thing I yeah. drove all night to make sure that yeah she could but wake they didn't the torture morning. you oh no like, they, they they let you do it but they still let her be in the episode like when anytime yeah. I asked for Brooke to go do a dance or they'd her say to you have to talk to Abby I would have to have a down out fight with Abby and Brooke would have to be away for the whole weekend and whatever they they wouldn't work with me to make it work no I, but they did with other people yeah I do agree though that they did make you fight about stuff but other people got yeah, it was ridiculous pass. I know oh, I just don't get it and, it, and I only wanted like a Friday the Friday night for her to go to a dance or to go to the football game it mm-hmm. wasn't like I was asking for the whole weekend off nope but nope. well whatever. easy to torture you yep that's why I say that I'm leaving the decision up to Brooke. And <laughs> Did Brooke you see her little lip twitch? Yeah. She said she doesn't want to ruin the group number, but she would really like to try out for cheerleading. I say that if we tell Abby that you're doing this, she probably is not going to let you back in the studio. And that's when I have Brooke's made the little Elvis face. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's probably like, yay. I know. I know. But now we have three days left of the competition and Kenzie is practicing her solo. Abby's wearing a headband. We're in the thread in the, in the shirt matching the headband era. Okay. Um, Kenzie says that in her interview, she's excited to be, to have a solo. And Abby says that Kenzie proved herself in the group dance. But she the group. hopes she remembers fingers crossed. And she's mm-hmm. smiling. I'm thinking like, meanwhile, she would take our kids out back, tie them to her bumper, and drag them through that pothole in the <laughs> parking lot if they forgot. <laughs> yep. And she says that Kenzie's not a baby anymore. She's going to show everyone that she's Abby's student. Don't let her down. <laughs> and Kenzie, Kenzie says she is ready to dance with the big girls. Yep. Then we go to lunch at Oliver and Twist. Yes. My favorite thing. I love wearing- when we go to lunch. Fur. Oh, yes. Jill's wearing a fur vest. Jill always wear fur. Maybe we should start drinking when Jill wears fur. Okay, go. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. You're a pain in the ass. You just want to drink. Well, Jill says it's five o'clock somewhere, so I guess we can have a drink. So I'm at lunch, and I the purpose of the lunch, obviously, was for me to tell you guys that Brooke was trying out for cheerleading. And I am shocked. My face is so shocked. Oh, I know. I know. (laughs) Meanwhile, (laughs) Meanwhile, I'm sure I knew. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm dreading going into this conversation. I say that Brooke is tired of Abby downgrading her. And I know she's at the top of the pyramid, but she wants to do cheerleading. And that the problem is cheer tryouts are the same day as the competition. I don't want anybody to resent me, but, and I don't want to let down the group, but I was going to let her do it. My question for you is like the moms to me, like on, and on the episode, obviously they were all gung ho and were fine with it. Mm-hmm. Like behind like my back where they like, Oh, this is ridiculous. Or do, did they really know that I, this was, I, this was obviously something that I did not choose to do. 
<clears throat> um, I feel if I can remember correctly, and I don't remember this like super specifically, but I think the general vibe was you signed up for dance. How could you do this? I, but I did they not know that this was fake? I mean, these were not real cheerleading tryouts. Like yeah. Michael Pizza, our I I was PA dead was when I saw judge. Michael Pizza. Yeah, like, but I mean, did they really think that this was something that Brooke and I um, chose Kel, to do? I honestly can't remember a hundred percent. I can't okay. because I think I I really because I mean we're obviously not actresses, so I I think they actually thought that mm-hmm. Brooke and I chose to do this, and obviously we did not. Probably was I mean, not real. Probably. <laughs> Did you uh, happen to catch your your dirty martini though, with all those cream cheese stuffed olives? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it those looks so good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I love it those. Good. I love this. Oh, I forgot oh, to yeah. tell you about my drink I had this weekend. Oh, the one with all the smoke? No, that was a couple. That of weeks looks ago. good. It, yeah. It's really good. It's called Bubbles and Berries. Oh and it's yeah, like I was blueberries so- and raspberries, mm-hmm. and they put dry ice in it, and it smokes the whole time you drink it. It's yummy. Yeah, well, but it no, looked fabulous. This one was um, a white Russian. Okay. But then they put vanilla vodka in it. Oh. And then they have a Grand Marnier floater on the top. Oh. Oh, my God. It was so yummy. That's Not dessert. to get off the topic. But oh, my God. It was so good. And oh, my God. You were so drunk. Like, you could have one. And really? Like, I, I went to stand up and I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Are you falling out of your shoes? Yeah. I was like, what? I hate when you fall out of your shoes. That always gets yummy. me. I'm like, oh, my shoes. Yeah. That it sounds was yummy. Good. It was yummy. So Gosh. Melissa says about, you know, she would never let Maddie do something during mid season. Mm-hmm. We, we don't have mid season. No, it's always. It, we it's we always do season. all year round. So like, mm-hmm. when, when is it that you were going to let her do something? Obviously never, because there's no mid season. But to your face, she tells you, oh yes, you have to absolutely do what you need to yeah. do for your kids. <laughs> yeah. But I say that I don't think Brooke's going to like it, but I mm-hmm. want her to find that out for herself. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I think you need to do that as, as a parent because if you tell them they're not going to like it, they're going to not believe you and continue oh. to want to do it. Where if they try it and they find out they don't like it on their own, then they won't oh, bother you think about it anymore. But Jill tells me that Abby's going to cream me. <laughs> what a and stupid phrase. I know. And I'm like, I'm fine with Abby creaming me <laughs> as long as I'm doing what's right for my kid. And everyone says they're going to support me. That was all of our lunch. Oh no, actually there was much more lunch involved. I'm sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we go to Maddie and she's practicing her solo. Abby's wearing a headband. Oh yay. I'm running out of my wine already. Oh, you better get a refill. I don't have my wine here. I need to tell Clara. (laughs) Oh, she can't serve it to you. Remember that's all right. She's underage. Sure. Okay. (laughs) But Maddie says that she doesn't normally do jazz, but she likes this one. Um, and she's nervous to compete against Chloe, but she's not intimidated by anyone. I think that that sounded like such a Frank invite. I do not think that Maddie said that sentence. If you go I, back and listen to it, it's all like bits and pieces. I, is it? Yeah, I don't think she said it. I mean, she might have said bits of it, but I think they pile that together in post for sure. So if we get to Melissa in her interview and she says that Maddie and Chloe competing and that Maddie is dancing at a different level this year. And we see Chloe solo. And I made her bow. Did you? (laughs) I did. Cute. And Chloe says she likes her solo. And her and Maddie are in the same age category. So she has a lot of confidence this week. And she feels like she has a good chance of winning. Okay. Which that was good. Mm -hmm. We got her confidence. Yeah. But you know what I love? As you know, we always do our interviews after we do the competition. Like to me, I don't think Chloe would have said that. Ah, yes, you're probably right. Because she, yeah, but she, <laughs> she would say that because she already knew she won. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know so, what I mean? Yeah. So people don't realize what you're saying. So basically yeah. we filmed the entire week. Uh, like we would film like pyramid would usually be what Tuesdays. And then we'd film through Saturdays. And then we did our interviews Tuesday afternoon because then we knew what we knew what the, happened on so, the episode. So we would go back. And that's really hard to do is to talk about things that happened in the past is 
as if they are happening targeting now. Targeting it in the present, yeah. Yeah, but I bet you're right because Chloe wouldn't have said that stuff. Yeah, it's not, like I, yeah, like, and like I mean, same same with a lot of these things. Brooke yeah, said. like right, she she would have. Yeah, it's just weird, but yeah, people don't realize that yeah. you do are uh, any of them interviews that you see us all dressed up and like. They're always after the kids the all in hair and makeup. That's always after we already know. What yeah, that's actually episode. a really good point. Yeah, and and the and the that's when the producers would tell us like, you know, say it this way because, and that's how we would kind of get a feeling of how the episode yep. was going to air because of what they had us say in interview. Yep. yep, yep. And I would get so pissed. I'm like, I'm not saying that. And they're like, well, say it in your in your way, and but then say it in our way, and like, guess which one would air. Yeah. I used to say to my kids, when, if they tell you to say anything you don't want to say, do not say, don't it. say it. At some point I would just be like, whatever, I'll say whatever you yeah, want. Just let me the out end, of there. You're just like uh, done with like your interview. You're in there for like, an hour and a half and you're just like, what do you want me to say? So I yeah, can, please let me leave. Get home. Yeah. I just want to go home. Mm-hmm. Ah. So you're in an interview and you say, you think Chloe can outdance Maddie okay. and she's going to give her a run for her money. So we are leaving for competition tomorrow and we're practicing the group dance. And now we've been practicing for a while. And uh-huh. Abby just noticed. I just that said that the As leader if. of the group is not there. She's like, you know, where's Brooke? As if. Yeah, As I'm thinking, okay, if. like we've been practicing for an hour and uh-huh. you are just noticing that she's not there. Yeah, the, um, I was just like, okay. So Maddie does an interview and says that she's not sure if Brooke wants to be part of the group. <laughs> she says, she sometimes says she hates dance depending <laughs> on what kind of day it was. <laughs> and that's what being a teenager is all about. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness so then I come in upstairs and you guys are filling Holly in about you know that Brooke wants to try out for cheerleading Holly says that Abby is going to lose it you know I'm like Abby's gonna be really mad (laughs) and you're like I've never seen you back down to Abby before that's true oh I'm your hype girl go 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 and be tortured yeah right so we heard Abby screaming for Brooke oh Abby's in an interview and says that the rule is the night before a competition, you have to be at proct- practice. And that is the rule that, I mean, that was yes. always the rule in the studio. Always. Yes. But Brooke was not there because the producers told her not to be there. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, yep. ah, so Abby leaves the room. She's looking for Brooke and says that she's going to chew her mother out. Foreshadowing from when she tried Yay. to bite your face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> chew me up, man. Chew me up and spit me out. But Abby hollers up to me. Um, she needs to know what's going on with Brooke. And Jill goes. <laughs> Jill's face Jill's is- still new. She just, Jill's <laughs> just learning like, how this all works out. Yeah. Oh. So I go into the dance room and Abby is like, where is Brooke? And I'm like, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I don't think she's coming this weekend. And did you see Abby's face? <laughs> There's like a pause and her face is just like, oh. I like how she always goes. Yeah. Like she looks around. Yeah. Then I'm like, something came up at school. <laughs> I didn't say cheerleading. I'm like, something came up at school. And I'm going to test. Let, yeah. I'm going to let her do it. <laughs> And we're all watching and we look terrified. You see it like a four uh, Yeah, you're us. scared for me. I know. We're all like. Oh. Abby says, I'm a bad parent because I'm Ugh. letting my 13 year old dictate Abby's future. Okay. I- She's contradicting herself because she would tell you, let her make her own decisions about exactly. anything else. Exactly. And then you're letting her make a, a decision and you're a bad parent. Well, I'm screwing her. She can feel oh, it. Feel it. <laughs> uh, Abby, how do you know what I that feels feel like? It. Something tells me you don't know. She's guessing. <laughs> <laughs> and Abby says she knew this a pyramid. Why didn't she say anything then? You know, that's not very mature. But Brooke did not know that a pyramid. No. We did not know that that was going to happen. They came up with this bright idea <laughs> this after plan. Pyramid and that there was going to be nothing exciting going on this week. They said, oh, let's torture Kelly and Brooke. Yeah, good times. But, and I, you know, Abby tells me that I'm having her dictate her future. And I say, no, I'm letting my 13-year-old predict her future. 
And Abby's saying, she's screwing me. I can feel it. (laughs) So Abby tells that all the girls without a solo to leave that, you know, we're not taking the group dance. Oh God. Brooke has ruined it for everyone. 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 I love Holly. She goes in true Abby spirit. (laughs) (laughs) So Holly goes in the dance room and asks if the moms can talk to Abby. And Abby says that the kids aren't traveling this weekend. And you and Melissa tell her that you guys aren't traveling just oh, for no. a solo. Melissa and I do not tell her that. I tell her that. Melissa doesn't say boo. I say, well, Melissa and I aren't traveling just for a solo. She doesn't say that. Just me. Oh, because she don't want her to get mad at her. Right. She probably said it upstairs and I said it down there. But then she'd be like, I never said that, Abby. I said I would go. I think she tells me to stop talking. Oh, no, I have those notes to me. Stop talking. Those are my notes. To me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because well, then you she say, goes on. Ugh. You say that you're going to stand behind Brooke's decision. And Abby says, you're an ass. No, an why asshole. Would you, I'm an asshole. Why would you stand behind Brooke's decision? And you say that you're teaching Brooke that it's okay to break a contract or I'm teaching our kids that it's okay to support your friend, and they might have different choices in life. Okay. But Brooke was not breaking a contract because she had a contract with the television show that she had to do what they said. And that's what they mm-hmm. told her to do. So Brooke was not breaking any contract and maybe in more. Abby's eyes, but you know, I think the TV show contract outweighed the Abby Lee dance company contract. Yeah, I would say. But because Christy, you know me, would we Brooke and I have ever no, done no. something like that ever? No. Furthermore, I thought swearing was prohibited in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Abby, Abby blurted that asshole right out. Oh, no, she couldn't wait to call me an asshole. Then, yep. But then what is she talking about Harvard and community college? I don't know. Well, you <laughs> tell her that you're teaching your kid to support their friends. Yes. And she says about, you know, if you're, when your kids get a full scholarship to Harvard and Brooke's going to community college, like her mom, are you going to support your friend? Did well, you say I didn't go to college? I didn't go to community <laughs> college, bitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, Abby didn't go to college either. So no, what she did she not about exactly. You know, did she even really graduate high school? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Whatever. So then Abby's in an interview and the, saying that you're sticking up for Brooke because you want to your daughter to get the lead. Well, she said, we all know that you just want Chloe to get the lead. OK, do you really think that I thought Chloe was going to get the lead over Maddie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. think anybody thought that. I don't think anybody thought that. OK, it's actually laughable. I'm like, OK, Abby, I'm saying that because I thought Chloe was going to get the lead. Oh, OK. No, she tells you to leave again. She tells you to go be a team member at another studio because at her studio is her way or the highway. I'm taking the highway. Me too. (laughs) Where is the on-ramp? Exactly. Um, So Abby says, if you can't go to the competition without knowing it's a winner, she doesn't want to go. Now, my, my thing on that was like, she tells Brooke she's mediocre and she's not a leader in the group and stuff. So why does she feel like she can't go to the competition and win without her? Like that's because, basically what she's saying. If you can't go to the competition without knowing it's a winner, she doesn't want to go. But it's because she's the type of person who breaks your toys. If she doesn't want, like she doesn't want anybody else to play with her toys. So instead of sharing, she breaks them. So if she can't get her way at the competition, she's just going to screw everybody. So Abby says that they can take the number but not with her name on it and that Gianna can rehearse with them in the morning before we go to the competition. Gianna is a giver. Meanwhile, they knew Brooke wasn't going to be in the dance. Yep. From the beginning. Yep. Like that. So it it wasn't like they had to like go, like people were probably like, wow, Brooke really screwed the group. Like they got to redo this whole thing an hour before they knew from the beginning, Brooke wasn't going to be in it. So it was kind of, Choreograph that way. It, yes. Like they didn't have to <clears throat> yeah. redo the whole thing. No. Yeah. So um, Holly says it's a slap in the face for the girls. Like I said, I would never have done that to the girls. Neither would have Brooke. But um, Abby says that the moms made it clear that they think they can win without Brooke. We didn't say that. So, and Abby says she would never let her child shake her pom poms for some boy to go to college for free. I actually wrote the word black. 
black. That, that, that really didn't even make sense. Mm-mm. Shake your car. Co- Shake your pom-poms for a boy to go to college for free. Uh, Kelly, I'm not sure if you're aware. <clears throat> he doesn't always make sense. <laughs> I'm sorry but I tell be- Abby that I know that this is wrong, but I need to her to make that decision on her own. Mm-hmm. And Abby says you make a commitment at the beginning of the year and you see it through to the end of the year. If you don't want to do it again, then don't sign up again. I signed up for Six episodes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Here I so, am on episode what 18? 18. I, I, I 19. stuck it out. <laughs> That's exactly right. But um Abby says that Brooke should have gone and told her. And that oh, okay. she would have been mad, but she would have done it would have been the right move on her part and her parents. Yeah. Okay. Because the kids are just lining up to tell Abby something controversial to her face. Sure they are. Sure, Jan. Sure. Yeah. And I'm sure I would not allow Brooke to go in and, and say that, and that, yeah. you know, was arguing with the producers that my daughter is not doing that. So no. that was probably my fault, but I was going to fight with her, not my daughter. So they show the girls rehearsing without Brooke and, and Maddie- Chloe, Chloe's not there either. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know where I have no idea where we were. Huh? Mm-mm. I don't know. I, have I don't no know. Idea. But Maddie says in her interview that it's not stressful without Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> and, funny. and Paige, Paige says she will support support Brooke because she's her sister. Oh, and oh my God, did you see her makeup in that interview? Uh huh. I would like to know who did that because they should be fired. Who was responsible for that? Mm-hmm. It was really bad. But then Nia's in the interview and she says that she thinks we'll still win. And how about you on the bus in enjoying that yourself? You, yeah, <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a dead squirrel. Yeah, Here I'm ripping but, on Jill and then I'm wearing, did you ever see that Tanya Harding movie? Or, oh, yes. The Tanya Harding interview, her mom in that, in that squirrel fur coat. Oh my gosh. I borrowed it you. from her. Cool. I look like. It looked good. No, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it did at the time. I, I guess so. Sick. Sick. <laughs> oh my goodness. But so you're on the bus and you're having fun because Abby's not there. Fun. You're loving it. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. Abby shows up and you're like, oh, looking she like a bear. my weekend. <laughs> but yeah. did you see the, like, like all the fur fluttering yes. and the wind? She did ruin my weekend. I'm just saying, uh-huh. but we literally scatter like ants under a rock. Everybody just runs. Well, everybody has to behave as soon as she comes. Yeah, like, I know. Everybody was having fun. But I, I can't remember. I'm assuming that I had Paige this weekend if you weren't there. Right? I'm assuming, yeah. I would assume yeah. I would have had Paige because I, I really don't remember you not coming. So I don't remember not going either. Yeah, but I mean, you obviously weren't but there. I don't think I was there because I, I mean, I think they would have showed, seen me. And what's funny about that is that they had one of the, like the main photographers there doing promo shots for the cast. Yeah. And you weren't there. <laughs> so they had all these promo shots without you in them. Like, oh, nice. So you rank nice. really high on that. In I, I do. Pyramid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so there's no Abby on the bus and she shows up and she <laughs> says that she decided to show up because we don't know what to expect in New Jersey and she's not sending Gianna to the wolves. Okay. Okay. Abby would have stayed home. <laughs> no doubt in my mind if they didn't make her go. They probably gave her a $50,000 bonus to get on the bus. Exactly. <laughs> you get on the bus and we'll pay you big time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, that was definitely not Abby's choice to go on the bus. (laughs) And Abby, Abby says that Kelly's not here. And then she (laughs) looks at Paige, my poor daughter and says, you, you know, (laughs) when a person's important in your house, don't you? (laughs) But it's, I, it's okay that I'm not there because I'm doing something with my other child, but it's okay when Melissa goes to be with her boyfriend two times right that that was okay but nia's mom doesn't love her neither do you you don't love Paige. yeah i died i'm like oh my god all these mothers don't love their children okay no, like, it's terrible holly's euphoric feelings are gone i know she's like <laughs> what a way to start a trip <laughs> I'm like yeah i agree holly so we're sitting on the bus and Melissa gets a phone call and it is Kathy from Candy Apples. And Abby <laughs> tells us it's so unethical. Oh, okay. But how about you? Mm-hmm. You're like peeping I around know. the corner of the bus seat. Like what's going on? <laughs> and I'm making some absurd faces. Actually, they're <laughs> actually absurd. Pretty, 
funny. And you're wondering why Kathy even has Melissa's phone number. Well, although Melissa has everyone's number, so never mind. Well, Kathy wants to get the girls together and she thinks that maybe they should meet halfway. Mm-hmm. And Abby's telling Melissa to just hang up. <laughs> Kathy says she's going to a competition in New Jersey. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, like surprise, surprise. And um, Abby says Kathy's going to show up with her kids, and they're all Brooks' age, not Maddie's. Not not any of the rest of the kids. They're nope. not Maddie's age, and Brooke won't be there. Mm-hmm. Well, like, why is she so concerned that Brooke is not going to be there? You know, Brooke's mediocre. Like, <sighs> right. she really know. does not need her. So, yeah, she's very I mean- concerned about her this week. Every other week, she's not. She's not, but she needs her this week. It's funny how that happens. Yeah. So she announces to the group, do not let Kathy know that Brooke isn't here um, and that she's not in the number because Kathy will have a field day with that. You say, of all the weeks for Brooke not to be here, you reblocked the number this morning and this could be Kathy's week to win. Oh, I didn't know I said that. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. But it, I mean, you didn't reblock them thing that morning so I'm I'm assuming they told you to say that I'm assuming and we weren't even there so I didn't even know they reblocked it <laughs> I think I don't think they did reblock it I don't think they did either now, let me ask you this that number born to dance is a number that we used to do like mm-hmm. on they like, reblocked the it show and when stuff. Brooke came back they put Brooke back in and yeah it she after. was in it she was in she it was the featured dancer things. yeah so I think they just I don't know Whatever. Abby says, if Kathy wins, Brooks Hyde will be hanging at the studio. <laughs> if you guys don't win, she's really going to be mad. Okay. Noted. Yes. So we're arriving at the competition. Abby tells us that we are the reigning national champions because we won in Lake Tahoe and blah, we need blah, to blah. show them that we've grown. I like Melissa's dress. I just wanted to say that. I think she you looked like good. It? Yeah. It's uh, like a wrap dress. Her boobs looked good. It was black. I thought she looked good. I missed it. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a disco ball shirt. You can't miss that show. Always, always. always. I, I have. I believe me. I have. A, I have a. All right, star. Settle beside down. It. Move on. I, I say we're in the dressing room doing makeup, and I have a big star. Your sequin off the shoulder top. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I actually sent a picture of Chloe or a video of Chloe because, like, Abby is going on and on and on about how there's a lot of pressure and blah 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 and blah 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 blah, 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 blah. and she's lecturing the girls. Every girl. Is completely ignoring her, looking in the mirror, like doing their hair. Chloe's sticking a comb in and out of her hair, staring at herself in the mirror. Abby's lecturing. I sent this whole video to Chloe and she goes, listen, I could only listen to so many lectures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before it, it was like, they just blocked her out. They totally uh, did. Yeah. So Abby's telling, remember Brooke never existed. Oh my God. Don't let Jesus. them know we are missing a dancer. And you say, the kids need a back brace for all the pressure that they, she's putting <laughs> on the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, you must win. You must win. You must win. She does that to them every week. I know. So then we go to the candy apple dressing room. I have questions she... about those face rhinestones. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? You didn't like them? No. You didn't like them? I don't like those. But Kathy's telling her group that um, their nemesis are here. She says that uh, we're doing a hokey pokey number and to do not talk to them behind the stage. Okay. And you say you're not going to start anything with Kathy, but if she starts with you, you're not backing down. (laughs) And then I call her a low blower. Yeah. And and Melissa (laughs) says she didn't like the low blows on Kenzie. Yeah. You didn't like the low blows on Chloe. She's a low blower. She is. She is. So Kenzie is going to do her solo, which is called Bigger Isn't Better. I know. That's what I was going to say when you said it was called My Parade or whatever. Later on, it turns into Bigger Isn't Better, which is one of her solos. Yeah. I thought that was weird. I did too. Yeah. I don't know how that came to be. Oh. One thing I wanted to say, when you look at the girls in the dressing room, Chloe's doing a straddle split where she's laying flat and Maddie's standing on her bum. Like, remember they used to yeah. do that to each other all yeah. the time? I was like, oh, yep. that's cute. Ugh. Can you imagine somebody doing that to you? No. Oh my God. I was like <laughs> pop in half. Kelly, I walked down the stairs the other day, popped my knee out and I've had Ben Gay on me for <laughs> like a week. <laughs> you broke oh your my hand God, with you- your own ass. Yeah. That's pretty bad. 
So Abby tells Kenzie that if she forgets to dance to just stay backstage, don't come out because she'll chop her head off. Oh, my God. (laughs) Nothing like saying something positive Mm -hmm. to the six or seven year old going out on stage Mm -hmm, by yourself. mm -hmm. Melissa says she's afraid that Kenzie will forget her solo and that if she does forget her solo, she won't ab lib. She would just run off the stage, (sighs) which most kids do. Right. But um. Melissa in the audience is sitting by the candy apples mom. Oh, did you I notice that? Uh-uh. Like right next to her. Usually like we're in opposite yeah. rows and stuff, but she's sitting right next to one of the moms. Oh, that's funny. That was kind of strange. Yeah, I didn't notice. Abby says that um, Kenzie nailed her aerials and her back handsprings that she's come a long way in a short time. Now I wrote that. And then two minutes later, Kathy says, in the audience to Abby, these are our rows of seats. You mm. guys are supposed to be sitting up there. So Kathy was right. They they were yeah. sitting in the wrong seats because we never sat next to no. the opposing team. So. Well, and also the kids are sitting in the audience watching. Our kids yeah. don't sit in the audience and watch later on. So- sometimes they did. Well, Abby tells Kathy that, you know, when she sees a nameplate, with her name on it on the back of that chair, <laughs> then she'll listen. But I until then, funny. she'll sit wherever she wants. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we go to Chloe has an interview and she says that she has more confidence because she's not as nervous backstage. So she uh-huh. feels like she has more confidence, which is good. And you say that you don't think Chloe is showing nerves and that she's holding up very well. Uh-huh. And that's another thing, like I was saying earlier, like we do our interviews afterwards. Yeah. So like. I it, knew that she wasn't nervous. Exactly. Or you but, knew she was going to do well because she already, she already won. won. But they also have another Frank invite of Chloe. Cause she says, I think this week I'm going to beat Maddie. Chloe didn't say that. Like you can hear yeah. it very obvious. Just like Maddie didn't say whatever she said earlier in the audience or yeah. earlier in the episode, but yeah. two things, Chloe does her little handshake backstage, which is really yeah. cute. And, um, her costume is I like from, that costume. That was from her thank you for the music solo. Remember it had music notes in the front yeah. when she did that solo and I just covered it with flowers <laughs> for the show. Yeah, I like that. That's a pretty costume. And oh my God, her great. headpiece. She did not have in her flowered headpiece because she had this beautiful like crown of flowers that went with thank you for the music. I don't know where it went because she just had a French twist with a clip in. But that headpiece that I had made when it was her thank you for the music solo I bought the tiniest AB rhinestones known to man and outlined the flowers in them. It looks like they looked like they had been dipped in rhinestones. They oh, were pretty. so beautiful. Yeah. I have to find that headpiece. It was gorgeous. Yeah. You should have wore that. I, I, I don't think I could find it. I think that's why I didn't. Uh, but yeah. the coverage of this dance was horrible. I think it is on the, most of them. Ugh, it was I, terrible. I think it is with most of them, yeah. Because I actually like this dance, but when you watch it on the show, I'm like, this is terrible because it looks <laughs> bad because you can't yeah. see any of it. Well, so Chloe does her dance, and Abby says that <laughs> Chloe is striking on stage, and she saw her do a few things wrong, but she yeah, did a good job. she saw some things wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. always. Yeah, um, Maddie does her solo, lights, camera, action. Wait. And- did you see backstage before Maddie dances? Gianna is there with her, like running her dance, hugging her. Like, it's so of frustrating course. to see that. Of course. Mm-hmm. What else was new? But it was cute right before Maddie goes on. Kenzie kisses her and so she has a big lip on her face on Maddie. And Maddie's like panicking, trying to get her lipstick off. <laughs> but Maddie's, cute. yeah, Maddie's costume for this dance was actually Chloe's costume from season one, the black and gold. This was Chloe's costume. We just switched it up and she, and she, um, she danced in it. Yeah. We always did that. Yeah. Always. But I never got any of them. I always got any of those. Okay. So Melissa says that Maddie has pressure on her cause um, she has, she's a title holder, mm-hmm. but she'll be fabulous. And Abby says that Maddie looked like she was paid to fly in from ba- Vegas to perform. Then I have that Maddie and Gianna are walking back mm-hmm. and Gianna um, said she likes her doing um, jazz and Maddie says she doesn't. Maddie said it felt kind of weird. I actually liked that dance of I Maddie's. love this dance. I thought yeah. it was great. I, I loved that one. Yeah. It was yeah. one of my favorites that she did. <clears throat> I, I, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And honestly, I liked when the kids did stuff. Well, 
I'm generalizing because sometimes I didn't like when the kids got something totally different, like when Chloe had to do hip hop, but she was tur- doing turns in second. <laughs> yeah. But I liked when they didn't do the same damn dance. Yeah. Every time. Like, usually when Maddie does a solo, it's the same thing. Like it's, it's the, the same. same I mean, it's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Uh, just a different music or whatever. So I, I like that dance. Just I did too. Different. And like, yeah. there was not the same, like <clears throat> roll to the floor, touch your face, turn yeah. to the floor. Like <clears throat> it was different stuff. So I yeah. like that dance too. So then we go to the candy apples dressing room and Kathy is on one of them echoing microphones. Abby Lee, Abby Lee, Abby Lee, like, Abby Lee. Where did she get that? Know, somebody needed to take that away. I, like stupid. So but stupid. Ka- Kathy says that she noticed that Brooke's not here and she wanted to know if anybody else recognized that. And cute little justice recognized that my little Brookie mm-hmm. wasn't there. But oh. then Kathy says, did she bets Brooks trying out for cheerleader? Now, how would Kathy know that? I Kathy, don't know. A couple episodes ago, Kathy didn't even know my kid's name. Right. Never. <laughs> and, and now she just all of a sudden knows that she's trying out for cheerleading. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm like, okay. Yeah. Producer okay. told her that. No, oh, I'm thinking maybe. Yeah. So then they show Brooke at cheerleading tryouts. And Brooks in an interview and says she's nervous for tryouts, says she's never cheered before. Then I say, if Abby didn't knock Brooke down all the time, year after year, and maybe Brooke would want to try cheerleading. And they show like the group, you know, there's four of them standing there for the tryouts and they're showing their jumps. Which and- her jump was fabulous. Yes. Uh, but they say they can't hear her. <laughs> yeah. Well, because she's not allowed to speak. She's not used to that. Yeah. But how about the judges Audra uh, okay the one the is first our judge PA. is Audra no she's our tutor yeah well I thought you meant Audra right. was our tutor no, no yeah yes. Audra Audra is our tutor and then there's the cheer coach mm-hmm. and then the the guy sitting there is my PA yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like cheerleading tryouts were not real yeah they were just makeup Brooke like says, Audra said just making sure that she can talk Audra yeah. that's like the most yeah. controversial Audra ever was Audra is the most sweetest person in the entire world I mean, Brooke Audra was in her never wedding say that. <laughs> I know I know yeah Brooke was in her wedding Brooke and Paige both were in their, her wedding <laughs> yeah. yeah she's the cutest babies oh my god they are the cutest babies ever oh but so Brooke says, um, if she doesn't make cheerleading, she's going to feel bad because she let her teammates down. Aww. And then they pick who is going to make it. And Brooke was called. And did you look at Brooke's face whenever they said that? They, they, they announced that she won or she mm-hmm. made it. Brooke's kind of like, what do you mean I made it? <laughs> like, how's that going to work? Because yeah. like, I'm on this TV show and I yeah. have to be there. And now you people are going to make me be a cheerleader too. She's yeah. like, holy shit. She's like, <laughs> I'm never going to get to go to the mall. I, I know. <laughs> she didn't know what to do there. She was kind of just like, oh my, what the heck? Wait, does she <laughs> hug Natalie? Is it Natalie who hugs her? Probably. I know Natalie was there. I didn't know okay. to her. She- but they I were all they're all her friends. Yeah. yeah. I say that I'm happy Brooke made it, but I'm sad that she's gonna give up something that she's been working at her whole life. And then we are at the awards for solos. And Kenzie got first. For bigger she- isn't better. Yes. <laughs> and she said she won and that um she's gonna win a lot like Maddie does. Oh, that's cute. And Abby says that Mackenzie wants to dance. And that's why she, it, that's why it makes all the difference. Uh, do you think that was a dig on Brooke? Oh, well, even if it was a dig on Brooke, she should listen to her own bullshit because when they want to dance, they do better. And like, exactly. you have the control to, if they want to make them want making, to do it. Yeah. Not making their lives miserable. Yeah. Um, so they announced Chloe got third. I'm Excuse sorry. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> They announced that Maddie got third and uh-huh. Chloe got first. Uh-huh. And Melissa says that um, Maddie was fa- flawless, that something was off with the judges. It couldn't just be that Chloe danced well. No, there not had at all. something wrong with the oh, judges. Oh, well, we're going to find out. There's even yeah. more wrong. But you say it was a proud moment for you and that this was based on dancing and Chloe danced the best today. Yeah, because they kept saying, well, it wasn't about dance. It was the look for the video. So I'm like, well, this one's dance and she won. Yeah. But of course, yeah. then it's not based on dancing. There's something yeah. wrong with the judges. And well, Melissa says she didn't care that Chloe beat Maddie because 
Maddie won in her eyes. Abby said that she didn't win because she looked too professional. Yeah. I was fucking. Why would that be a reason not to win? Because Abby comes up with any bullshit she can to make sure that even if you win, you're knocked down a peg. Then Abby says that, you know, Maddie was amazing. Uh huh. Bowie screwed up a whole big big turn section, but she wants Chloe to have confidence. Right. from, From within but not from winning trophies. Right. But your dance teacher just said on national TV that you screwed up a bunch, even though that you won, but you're confident. <laughs> even though you won. Come from yeah. within. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh God. Uh, so we go. But into I'm the, the dress- asshole. Like I'm yeah. the asshole. Right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So we go into the dressing room and Abby pulls the girls over and says, um, not only do we have to prove Brooke wrong, Ugh. that she's Ugh. worthless. I- <laughs> Did you- she said that we have to prove to Brooke she's Plus, worthless. It doesn't, doesn't mean, mean anything. anything. Yeah, everyone yes. is replaceable. The dance should be performed the way it was recorded. Uh, uh, Who? And, and she looks right at Paige. I know. Like, you know, your your sister's worthless. Worthless. Like, who, who says that? If, well, not even just to say it to Paige. Who says that in general about uh, a child that Kelly? a child is worthless? Mm-hmm. Then a, a, a couple pages of my notes before she's saying like she can't go to the competition because without Brooke, Brooke. There. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. now Brooke's worthless. So they show Chloe an interview and she thinks the candy apples are going to do good because they did really good last week. And they show the group dances. Kathy's girls are doing mermaids. Those and- tail shaking. <laughs> How about Vivi? <laughs> the tail shaking. <laughs> And lost my mind. <sighs> but he uh, says that they, she has Vivi in there to bring the age group down. Well, Hello, we did that too. Who do you think taught Kathy that? Yeah. And like, <laughs> you know, where, where have all the children gone? Vivi and Mackenzie just stood there and pushed on each the other swing. on a swing to bring the age down. Like, that's uh-huh. how Kathy figured that out. Right. But then Abby says she's a human prop. Like, the woman couldn't be more rude. But Abby says that they were mermaids. So old tricks and turns, Vivi on and off. It's the same old thing. All right, Ursula. So our kids, the the group dance, danced a dance that was choreographed around Brooke without her and succeeded. Um, And Nia says that the candy apples isn't taking us down. We're taking them down. (laughs) She's funny. She's funny. She is funny. So they announced the awards and the mermaids got 279 points at eighth place. And Born to Dance got first place. Yay. I, again, love this dance. Love yes, this dance. Yes. Yes. Um, so Abby said, not only did we beat the candy apples, but we beat everybody at the competition. And then we're in the dressing room. And, Kath- and Abby says that Kathy didn't know what to say. Um, let's go to her dressing room and Ugh. tell them that they did good. Okay. And to tell her that I want the B costume back. I can't who, even. Who goes into somebody else's dressing room after they lose and say, oh, you did a good job. Abby. Like nothing, <laughs> nothing like taking it and like rubbing it in your face. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Maybe you. like who does that shit? And even me, I'm dancing into the room. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think you had a few drinks in. You I'm point. pretty sure. I, I'm, I'm. I'm thinking you did sure. because yeah. I'm thinking like the, the day's over. Chloe won. I'm safe. Meanwhile, bitch, you got five minutes left and you're going to open your God forsaken. Mouth. I know you always oh. do it at the very end too. I hate but me. Kathy says that um, she gave the B costume to Goodwill <laughs> to charge her for it. And you're like, no, that's a memory. It's irreplaceable. <laughs> Kathy says, I'm not talking to you, disco ball. Oh, Which I don't know. I have to agree with Kathy. Kathy. On that. You did look like a disco ball. I did, but I called her a nasty old bat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you nasty old bat. Who she Bill says, called. by the way, who Bill called, they want your nose back. And then I'm like, bring it, bitch. What, what? How about you guys having your fingers in each other's faces? I, know. I love it. Nobody you said, me. get your finger out, out of, of my, my face. face. But, and she says, um, we don't talk like that. Yeah. You, you guys might talk like that in front of your young kids, but we don't. How about she pushed me? And she told you to take your Payless shoes out oh, of here. Excuse me. I'm my like, Payless? Payless? No, those are not Payless. But then she <laughs> says the dog pound called. And Abby is laughing in the background the whole time. Like, she's laughing. Meanwhile, I'm sticking up for her. 
but I cannot believe that Kathy pushed me. Like she yeah. put her hands on me. Yeah. And you're like, get your hands off of me. Um, you can't beat us, Kathy. Go home. Stop trying. Mm-hmm. And she keeps talking about style. Okay. But how about manners? Yeah. Well, like you, and then she I put said, her hands the, on. you should have called the cops on her. And had her I should have. Like Abby did me because she did just as much to you as I did to Abby. And I said, the icy cold hand was like the grim reaper. And like Holly comes and takes me out of there. And I'm like, why did I open my mouth? Like, I yeah, you, you were good the whole time. But here I was jumping and getting Abby's back. And that brat is laughing at me in the background. Ugh. <sighs> I need to just shut my mouth. Chloe won. I needed to just be quiet in my little disco ball corner. Yeah. Tell yeah. Me. All right. Felonies, misdemeanors. It. I would just have to say that my felony would be like me allowing the producers to portray Brooke as letting the group down. Yeah. That was you know, crap. like, cause that really wasn't Brooke. I Brooke just wanted to go to a football game. She didn't want to let the group down. She could have went to the football game Friday night and been at the competition all weekend, Saturday, Yeah, but they, they chose to do it. And when I agreed to that, I did not know that they were going to portray her as letting the group down or I would yeah. have never let her go to a football game. Sure. So yeah. that was my fault for being stupid and not, realizing that they're going to portray your daughter as an idiot and oh i don't think that she they portrayed her as an idiot i don't i oh, think they, they I made mean, it that she like screwed yeah. the group and didn't care and i didn't care and that was totally not yeah bad. no i, I should have agree. known better that then that that was the way they were going to portray it but well was... we never know do we yeah. uh i would say my felony is opening my mouth in the in the, at the very end at the very yeah. end like stop talking yeah, you almost made it through almost i never get almost. quite i never get through it i always open my mouth that kathy yeah. gets me so how many drinks did you need what was your cocktail scale <sighs> I don't know. It wasn't too bad today. I didn't really even say much in this episode, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. you know, because I wasn't there. Oh my God, Brooke, you're at the top of the pyramid and you're going to quit or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I would say filming it, maybe a one, just because I wasn't there yeah, you watching it, maybe a three, because it, I, I feel like it made Brooke and I look like we screwed the group, which um, we did. I would say I was on a zero until the last five minutes. And I was like a hardcore four. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, <laughs> stop talking. Stop yeah. talking. All right. Bottom of the pyramid for outfits. Is it the disco uh, ball shirt? Probably. I don't always know. been with those ugly shirts. Yeah. I had some bad mom jeans on. I don't know. My squirrel vest might've won. Oh, or Abby's big fur coat. Oh, oh maybe Abby's, Abby's big, fur, big coat. fur coat. Yeah. Right. We'll let her be at the bottom. Yeah. No maybe one at the wins. top was my, Melissa's oh, her black dress, dress that you liked. Yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, it was just yeah. a plain black dress, but it was cut nice and it like made yeah. her boobs look good. Like she looks skinny. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Um, I didn't really like anything I had on this week. <laughs> yeah, you said that. What about favorite lines of the episode? I had a couple. I had um, Nia saying, I'm mm-hmm. sad because I worked really hard to get oh. to the top and now I'm at the bottom. Mm. And I had you saying, oh my God, Brooke is in fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> and Jill yes. saying it's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, I love that saying. I like Melissa saying she's coming out of the vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know the other one. Ice cream for everyone. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. So this one wasn't too, too bad. I don't have a clue what next week is. All I know is in the previews, I am in it with Abby. So I'm sure that'll be a fun one to recap. Yeah. I don't know what next week's about either. Is that when we burn Brooks pom-poms? I don't think. I don't Maybe know. it takes a, it takes a week or two to burn those. Yeah. And then they make her beg to come back. Oh God. God. That'll Ugh. never happen either. No, she'd be <laughs> like, bye. Be like, See ya. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to cheer or dance. Okay. Exactly. Fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to just be at the mall if any of you bitches need me. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, everybody make sure that you watch season two, episode four before next week. I don't even know what it's called, but then I guess the only thing left to say is we're going to see you at the after party. Yay. Yay. All right. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Back to the Bar. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you love to listen to your podcasts. 
and check out our YouTube channel, Back to the Bar, if you want to watch the episodes. The channel is linked in our show notes. And if you want to join our weekly after party, where we dish even more dirt, like naked pizza, hell, <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash back to the bar. See you next time. See you next time. Baby, I just want to dance, dance.